Japan to consider ocean disposal of nuclear waste. So their plan is they're going to take some of this Fukushima waste and they're going to bury it in the ocean. We already know they've been dumping in the ocean, but now they're going to take those bags and they want to bury them in the ocean. So their plan is, oh, we're just going to dig them deep, a deep hole, put it in there. The industry ministry will consider the feasibility of burying high-level radioactive waste from nuclear power plants underneath the seabed. So it's not even low-level, it's high-level waste, which probably means it's spent nuclear fuel, MOX fuel, which a working panel said on December 11th could be a highly appropriate solution. A highly appropriate solution to bury it in the ocean where they've already destroyed the ocean they've already destroyed the Pacific Ocean let's just destroy a little bit more Japan in an interim report on disposal methods of highly contaminated materials from spent nuclear fuel the panel said such waste could be disposed of in adjacent waters within 20 kilometers of the coastline it's called the disposal method relatively realistic because the circulation of groundwater at sea is not as strong as on land the panel said the site should be created in adjacent water so that the nuclear waste can be easily transported by ships. The panel included that under the seabed disposal plan is nearby waters as a viable option for the final disposal site. Based on this proposal, the ministry will set up an expert panel in January to discuss what specific technical challenges lay ahead. The expert panel will discuss locations of active faults under the seabed and the impact of sea level changes to evaluate the feasibility of the project. It is expected to issue its recommendations by next summer. Candidate sites for nuclear waste disposal, it is being forced to rethink this policy because no local government has come forward to provide a realistic disposal site. Nobody wants this nuclear waste in their backyard. And there's too much nuclear waste to go out for everybody. Instead, it will be handpicked the candidate sites from scientific perspectives and unilaterally request local governments to comply with its research and inspection efforts, which means that they're going to tell the local government, the federal government, wherever the federal government is, Japan, they're going to tell its local governments, you must take this waste. You must take it. And that's what they're going to do. They're going to force local governments to take this. That happens in the United States as well. They're making local governments take this in. Of course, it's a little bit different. They can just bribe a few officials and get this nuclear waste into uh, to certain counties that they want to put it in. So putting this underneath the seabed, what a freaking stupid idea. Well, number one, they like the idea is they love to put this waste underneath the ocean because they will not have to check up on it. They want it to see how it's doing. If it leaks, it leaks. That's... That's it. And once it's down there, good luck trying to get it out. It's going to be very hard to clean something up like this. So putting it in the ocean, it's an easy way for them to clean their hands of the mess. Basically, I interpret this, it's like putting the nuclear waste underneath your rug. The pressure from the ocean itself, the pressure from the water, is going to make this leak right away. I, I give them five years, they're going to be leaking. It's not responsible at all. Put this waste anywhere near the ocean.